Hello Alcos and other viewers and welcome to another Battlefront 2 video. Today I wanted to, to talk about the Geonosis update a little bit more and what new game modes you might see coming in the November update or the winter update. I also want to talk a bit about some of the skins for the new heroes coming and also their abilities. But before we get started, if you could give this video a like, it will support the channel greatly and we'd really appreciate it. So, we already know Geonosis is coming to Galactic Assault and we are also getting a new large scale mode coming in the winter, but what I'm curious about is if we will get multiple modes on Geonosis rather than just Galactic Assault. I have a small theory that we may get Walker Assault coming back to the game, maybe not just for Geonosis but in general across the whole board. It's not too far fetched really when you think about it because it's technically already in the game. The Hoff map for Galactic Assault for example kind of has it already for a small segment so it wouldn't really surprise me if that was implemented back in properly. Don't forget Crate also that's also got a Walker Assault bit on there. I think it would be a good thing because it's another large scale mode in the game and it may not be a new one but it's a good one and everyone is familiar with it. They've got the models in for the at, -AT both First Order and Empire. We also have the troop transport for the droids. So really, I think it's very possible. But be sure to share your thoughts on this in the comments below. Another thing that I'm suspecting as well is that the new vehicles being added to Battlefront 2's Clone Wars era may be available on all the maps, at least all the Clone Wars era maps anyway, because at the moment on Feed, for example, and Kashyyyk, the droids have tanks and the clones have nothing really to compete against it. So it would possibly even out the playing field a bit more because it's incredibly rare that I see the clones destroy the troop transport early and it takes so much effort to do so so it's not like that far-fetched that the new vehicles could be added to all the Clone Wars era maps. Also when you take into consideration that they are allowing you to spawn in on squad mates soon it seems like DICE want people to play more objective based anyway so it all kind of fits in too well if you ask me. But moving on to the heroes, specifically the skins, I'd say it's safe to say Anakin's skin will likely be him wearing his black like clothing like leathery jacket Jedi robe thing as we've seen and Obi-Wan Kenobi wearing his like white almost like cream coloured clothing. Uh, it's also highly likely we'll get variations of them wearing the hoodie cloaks as well as it's an iconic Jedi robe that all of the Jedi have so that would come as no surprise to me at all. Count Dooku will likely be wearing his dark clothing, clothing as we've seen but I'm unsure as to what other skins he may get. General Grievous I imagine will probably get one of him wearing his cloak and one without. Other than that again I'm not too sure on that one. But moving on to abilities I suspect Anakin may have a force choke ability as he did use it quite a bit in the lore as a Jedi as well as a saber slashing ability similar to Luke's. Who knows what the third ability may be, probably like a lightsaber throw maybe. Maybe you guys can think of something in the comments to share on this one, I'm just, I don't really know for sure on Anakin. Obi-Wan however will likely have a force push ability and maybe a Jedi mind trick ability as we've seen in the films and shows he's capable of doing a lot of mind tricks on a lot of different people. Maybe not to the extent that Rey can do but maybe he can cause enemies to freeze up for a bit as well as some lightsaber moves again possibly, some like twirling around or maybe a lightsaber throw or something like that. Grievous, he will likely have an ability where he uses all four of his sabers and also do some like dancing lightsaber moves with those. Possibly that part that you, you can see in uh, Revenge of the Sith where him and Obi-Wan Kenobi are fighting where he spins two of his sabers in circles. But another ability is that we have seen him on like the shows and in the films of him going on like all fours, climbing around on ceilings and walls so it may be a possibility that he can do that as well. Now Count Dooku, he will likely have a choke and or lightning ability. I mean we've seen him use lightning quite a bit, we've seen him use force choking. He might have like a force push or pull ability somewhere as well. Um, he is also evil so you know it's likely we'll see some lightning or some choking from Dooku. I reckon possibly lightning, definitely. Also, again, more lightsaber moves is probably not too far-fetched. They're all probably going to have to be somewhat capable of a lightsaber. But those are just like my views and opinions on what we'll likely see for the new heroes and the new vehicles and the maps and modes. Be sure to share your thoughts on all the hero abilities and skins, as well as the possibility of Walker Assault returning to Battlefront 2 as a new mode, all in the comments below. 
or alternatively you can join our discord and chat with us personally links below to that as well as our instagram make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and make sure when you do click subscribe that you tick that bell icon next to it as that will give you a notification when we post a new video don't forget we stream battlefront 2 quite often as well so don't forget to tune in we'll be live most evenings uk time i've been robust pirate and i will see you in the next video